everyone welcome back to another Ness Kids video for those of you who don't know me I'm Jemima and today we're going to be doing lots of different activities with just one item and that one item is drum roll please tape so I just happen to have this blue tape around so I'm just using this one but you can use all any other kind of tape that you have so whether it's just ordinary sellotape mask tape whatever tape you have around I'm specifically using this one today because I had it around the house but also because it's blue and will show up easily on the video so you guys will be able to see it more clearly. Um, yes, yeah, so we're doing lots of different activities. I'm going to show you a few of them um, but I'll also talk you for you through um, other ones um, so you can try them at home yourselves. Um, these are good for lots of different ages so um, if you're maybe thinking you're too big for this you can make it more complicated yourself. Um, so I'll be showing ones which are good um, activities which are good for some of the small, like younger ones um, but if you are older and you're watching this make it more complicated for yourself try something different um, maybe try if you've got a younger sibling try and get them to do something and yeah there's lots of different things you can do with this and you can make it more complicated yourself and you can make up your own games um, I'm just going to be showing you a few things uh, make sure to take pictures and let us know, um, like send the pictures um, to us either by email or WhatsApp uh, or even message us on Facebook and yeah, we'd love to know if you like these activities and what you're getting up to. Um, so I'll show you the first activity. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to make one long line of tape. They should stick absolutely fine. Um, as you can see there, mine didn't stick straight away, but that's okay. Depends on the tape and what surfaces you're using. It should still work on surfaces like carpet. It should be fine. And you don't need it to be completely stuck down anyway. Um, just a rough straight line and yeah, you're good to go. So for this first one, I'm just doing a kind of balancing act. Um, so you have to keep your feet on the tape as much as possible. Okay, so similarly using this line, we're going to jump across um, a different way, so backwards and forwards as much as you can, making sure not to touch the tape. You can do this as by yourself or as a race. You could, you could time yourself and make it into a challenge. Do it in different ways and see how you go. Okay, so we've now done our first line and we're going to do another one right next to it which is a parallel line. So if it's parallel, that means it runs directly alongside the other line, but never touches it. Something that I didn't mention earlier, but I'm definitely going to mention now, is that when you're cutting the tape, you, if you're using scissors, do be very careful. There are other ways to cut it, and it um, you can just peel it off, but remember to be careful. Okay, so what we're gonna do with these lines, we're gonna, you can walk alongside them like we did before, you can jump along them, but keeping each foot on each line. So, and then remember the elephant walks we did a couple of weeks ago? We can do these, but making sure that we're touching the tape to kind of keep our balance a bit more. And so now one thing I'm doing is I'm keeping my feet on either side of the tape and then trying to walk across with them. So stretching my legs and challenging my balance as well. And now I'm doing a sideways elephant walk. Um, yeah, so challenge yourselves, try something different, see how creative you can be. Um, and yes, more jumps as well, but this time they're much longer than the jumps I did before. You can also try something with pairs. So if there's two of you, you can lean on each other, one on each side um, and see how you go. I'm just doing it by myself, but which is kind of sad. You can also use it as a target for long jump, so you can see how far you can go. You can also use tape to help you practice your English skills. So here I'm using the tape that I have to write letters. So the letter I'm writing is the letter J, which is the first letter of my name, and the tenth letter in the English alphabet. Um, and you can do all letters of the alphabet with this, you can make words, um, write out your own names, uh, depending on how much tape you have um, and space you have, 
but I think it's a good way to practice um, your words. And if there's any new words that you've learned recently, write them out in tape, send us pictures of them. Um, yeah, I think it's a really good way to practice. Just as tape can be a really useful way to help you practice your English writing skills, it can also help you with your maths. So here I'm using it to write the number 9. So I chose the number 9 because today is the first day of August and August is the ninth month in the year. So you can write out any numbers, um, see how far you can go, obviously depending on the amount of tape you have. And you can use it to maybe write out your, your times tables um, or help you practice some adding up or taking away or divisions. Be creative and you can use it to help. Okay, so I'm now pulling up the tape that I put down before um, and I'm going to put down some more complicated ones for um, some different kind of activities. Um, so these ones are a bit more complicated so uh, if you maybe want to, you could do this as a team, or if you're looking for something that's a bit more difficult, then you can try something like this. So I'm doing kind of more zigzags rather than a straight line now, uh, which does require a little bit more tape, um, but I think it makes it more fun. Um, so I'm doing one, as you can see, I've got one kind of smaller bit, long, and then a longer bit, and they're going in different directions. Um, and yeah, so you can use it in different ways. And you can really get creative, so you can make it shapes in completely different shapes. So you can even draw a smiley face and kind of figure out some way of um, jumping to each different side or stars or whatever you can think of. I know you can be really creative and this is an opportunity for you to really get some ideas and yeah, just see what you can do. Okay, so now I've finished uh, making my new tape obstacle course line. Um, I'm doing a bit of a balance like I did on before, but it's a bit more complicated. Um, but I still do it. It still works. Okay, so those are all the activities I'm going to show you today. You can also do other things. So you can also make your own hopscotch with tape if you don't have chalk. Um, yeah, so use tape instead so you probably know what hopscotch is i imagine that you have that in school um so but if you don't you literally just do um squares so one square two square one square two square and you can go on as long as you want and then you just hop with one foot or two feet and you can do that for ages and that's pretty fun too um yes yeah, so you can do may change all of those around um and you can use tape on whatever surface you have available so you can use it on carpet i just happen to be using it outside you can on whatever surface is your floor is and yes um so there's so many different ones you can do so please send us pictures and let us know if you make any other games with tape and we can share them with everyone else um yeah that's all for me today see you next week